Today we are leaving the 3-axis smartphone gimbal world and entering a 2-axis gimbal world that still holds a big punch. Built-in LED light and also a long selfie stick so you can have more in your frame with just a 2x gimbal. It's called Zion Smooth X2 and yes, I got the combo edition. We shall go straight to an unboxing, in-depth review and understand if this gimbal is made for smartphone filmmaking production. I got the combo version in rose and you get this fancy carrying case in both combo black and rose. Well, I like it back, so we shall unbox the black version. So you will get the fancy carrying case, gimbal pouch, detachable LED light with four different magnetic colors. You get also the instruction manual with the tripod stand and the two-axis gimbal itself. This is a really well-designed gimbal because when you charge it on when it's operating, it's actually glowing yellow or white from the bottom and it makes a pretty great scene. The gimbal build feels pretty damn good and one of the best builds out of the two-axis gimbal that I tested so far. It features a sturdy tripod because the gimbal has a selfie stick that can be extended pretty substantially and you get more reach for a selfie with your front camera. The upper part, when extended, can also tilt to get your desired angle. Let's get to the physical layout and buttons of the Zeon Smooth X2. The zoom rocker on one side and the light button on the other. In front, there is a simple layout. Joystick, mode button for the POV, follow and lock mode and there is also the record button. The power button is actually located on the vertical arm. Ok, so you can use this gimbal in two ways, with your standard smartphone camera app or use it with the ZY Cami dedicated smartphone gimbal app that connects via Bluetooth. And I would recommend to use the ZY Cami app because you get the advanced features in it. The layout is pretty good and on the right you will find all the modes like automated smart edit with sounds, music, text, photo mode, video mode, panorama and dolly zoom, time-lapse mode with hyperlapse. On the right side you will find the shoot mode with flashlight on and off, mic selection, grid, white balance, you will be able to fine-tune some of the gimbal options with zoom speed and more settings, under the general manage device with the updates. There are also some glamour effects like auto, slim, smooth, brighten and large lighter and rosy. In the video settings mode I was able to film up to a resolution of 4K 30 frames per second and there's also the 24 frames per second. I would actually love that they have included the 25 frames per second for us in the PAL standard. These settings will change based on your smartphone cable resolution and frame rates. The magnetic detachable fill light is really something new and makes a punch when using this gimbal and you can control it with this light and it has four brightness modes. I think at the brightest it gets really bright and more of your any need for any smartphone when filming outside in darker scenarios. The gimbal have also an included gesture mode, when you can start, stop recording and being tracked with gestures. Great if you are trying to film yourself while doing something and you can't reach the gimbal. The tracking functions works great, but just understand one thing, there is no tilt motor to follow up and down your movements, just left and right. The tracking was working pretty ok and not bad at all, they really improved the Android user experience. Enough said, I went out with this gimbal to actually understand how this gimbal works with just two axes and actually understand if it's good or near good like a true normal 3x gimbal. Gimbal makes an ok job stabilizing your footage, just understand that the limitation of the 2x gimbal where there is no roll motor to compensate for this angle. Most of the times today we are in portrait mode and it's easy and really simple to enter, 3 times pressing the mode button and you are entering 
portrait mode for all your TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Well, we are just filming every day in portrait mode. There you go, and two axis fashionable gimbal that will be mostly doing all the job just like your standard 3x gimbal. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I will be happy to answer to all of them. And until my next one, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.